I'm obviously really pleased with the verdict that we've just um, that we've just received. Um, from my mind, Anne Darwin has been a compulsive liar throughout this particular inquiry. Every time she came forward with an account, um, you know, she reacted to the, the, the evidence that was put uh, towards her uh, and another account was brought out. That continued through the court process um, and she was found to be the liar that she clearly is. Um, to put somebody's sons um, through that turmoil together with the friends and the family, their associates, is um, absolutely appalling and I'm just pleased that uh, the truth um, as it's been um, unfolding has come out um, I'm sure it will continue to unfold through the next uh, months and years to come because this really is just half time um, we do have um, asset recovery teams that are going to make sure that all the, um, the financial benefit that Mr and Mrs Darwin um, have realised as a result of this deception is brought back to this country and given back to the people who quietly, uh, quite rightly deserve to, to get the money back. Andy, Andy. It's, it was portrayed as being a, a somewhat um, victimless crime, you know, one, one where there, nobody was really hurt, but you just had to stand in court and listen to Mark and Anthony Darwin give their evidence. You just had to listen to uh, Irene Blakemore when she was giving her evidence, you know. The fact that Anne Darwin could, could at least tell her friends that she could go and float roses off into the sea six months after John's disappearance and then keep one on a bedside cabinet, that just summed the woman up to me. She was out and out despicable. I mean, I just do not have the time of day for her and I think it was picked up on before, you know, that uh, animosity was somewhat tangible when I was speaking about Anne Darwin. And to put people through this particular scenario, I think it's disgraceful.